Thanks very much. We lost in spectacular fashion. Again. 516 over to Scott Steele with the Storm Team forecast. Go big or go home, I always say, Suze. And this morning, we're going big with some showers and storms. And a severe thunderstorm warning in effect right now for a portion of our viewing area. Walworth County, you have that severe thunderstorm warning until 545. Let me go over Viper radar with you. We're on the wide view and you can see that thin line of showers and storms that extended back through Minnesota. And zooming into southeastern Wisconsin here, this is the area that is intense right now. It extends in portions of northwestern Walworth County into Rock County. Rock County saw the first warning and it rapidly has approached now northwestern Walworth County. You can see just right along the highway there, 43. Elkhorn, you're next in line. Delavan, you're going to be seeing some very heavy downpours, frequent lightning, and uh, most probably some small hail as well. This is going to be heading down toward Lake Geneva and then over into portions of western Kenosha and also Racine County. Speaking of that, let's travel a little bit to the east northeast and you can see some other clusters of heavy storms that are not necessarily severe, but some very good downpours now extending in southern uh, Waukesha County, uh, right around Genesee into McWanago, again along 43 and then back into southern Milwaukee County. You folks from Cudahy down through Oak Creek seeing some pretty good downpours now heading into Racine County, Caledonia and just to the east of Waterford. Very heavy downpours and frequent lightning as well. But the severe thunderstorm warning remains in effect until 545 for our friends in Walworth County. Be very careful. The main threat from this is going to be some strong winds associated with these storms. Those winds could howl in excess of 60 miles an hour. They have a history of blowing down some trees. So straight line winds the main threat with some small hail and frequent lightning. Here's a live look from our Port Washington Tower Cam and you can see what a difference just a few miles make. In fact, in Port Washington, mainly dry conditions, just a few scattered raindrops, but our friends up to the north of Milwaukee not seeing nearly as much as folks on down to the south right now. So in your weather headlines, we've got some daily downpours on the way today and then again, I think tomorrow, perhaps even Thursday will be above average and I think a fine finish on the way. Outside right now, 70 degrees in Port Washington and West Bend, 72 for you fine folks waking up with us in Waukesha and also in Burlington. These readings in Walworth County will be dropping in the rain cooled air, but they'll rise back up because just off to the west, 82 in Des Moines, 89 already this morning, flirting with 90 at 5 a.m. in Omaha, Nebraska. Satellite and radar combination. You can almost see the ridge in the upper levels of the atmosphere and these storms riding right along it. Here's the cluster of severe weather right now passing from south central Wisconsin into northern Illinois. We're going to be right on the borderline for more showers and storms as these little waves travel along a frontal boundary. And look at this warm front returning to our north tomorrow means we could see yet again temperatures reaching 100 degrees. Yesterday's high 99 degrees setting or I should say tying the old record for the day of 99 set back in 1940. So your storm team forecast for today showers and thunderstorms early then breaks of sun developing. It will be seasonal or highs up to near 80 for tonight. We're down to 70. We're going to see more showers and storms developing late during the overnight after midnight. They'll continue into tomorrow morning and look at this. We're hot again tomorrow with highs flirting with 100 tomorrow night down to 73 with yet again another round of showers and storms. Here comes Milwaukee's one and only 3D HD seven day planner. And I think we finally dry out toward the end of the week and the weekend Caitlin looking spectacular. But again, a severe thunderstorm warning in effect for about the next, uh, let's see, 25.